All right, bro. Hey, on Kobe, we just got Bill Russell. We got OG Goat Bill Russ. Bill the Russell. Dark Matter Bill Russell here. So we're going to go and look at him. We're going to look at the, the tail of the tape. You know that. We're about to look at what it takes to get these agendas. Bold part two is here. We out here. So uh, step back. Cootie gumdrops. <laughs> yes, sir. This is what's new, though. Playoff packs available in the pack market. Let's go see what that's talking about. All right, so we do have the playoff packs here. Boom, right here in the in the pack market. Is promised playoff packs, base packs though, just base packs. Forty five k for this uh, promo pack contains one guaranteed pink diamond or higher. I mean, come on, bro. Uh, Giannis and I see Giannis, I see Luca, I see Chris Stapps, but I don't know, buddy. There's a lot of pink diamonds in here, and we passed the pink diamond stage. I mean. I mean, look, look at Bill Russell. Look how bold and beautiful Bill Russell is looking. Wake up. Look how Shea Gilgis is looking at Bill Russell. Oh, goody, goody. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Got it. That boy is happy. Boy, he must have went and got a bucket when they took this photo. He is happy because I'm happy. But yeah, you know how it go. First things first, let's hop off in these tweets. Let's jump out here in Twitter X and see what the prognosis is. Should have been debooked, but I get it. Okay. I mean, cold world. I, I get it. We want debooked. Finally, a free big man. Please don't fumble the bag. Okay. Holy mid. Oh yeah, you know we got the protesters out here too. And I don't know what Jiminy Cricket. I mean, he sleep. He not with it. This should be a crime. Francis should be a crime. 98, a 98 Francis, a 96 Teague. Is that Teague's burner account? Finally a big man, huh? That's the prognosis. We finally get a big man that we can look forward to. I mean, they just gave us Robert Parrish. He can't really shoot, but he's a beast. I mean, I might make a video on bruh. Y'all so ungrateful. Like they just gave us a big. We got Parrish. I got Parrish, and he's a dog. So you got to go play. P Hold on, bro. Jeff Daltrey, what are you talking about? Four people saw this because you are grammatically inept. I do not know how to read this. So you got to go play player and just miss shots. 60 Celtics rebounds is BS. Who want to got miss for miss? Who want to go miss for miss with me? Okay, sometimes y'all just... Y'all just don't make it easy on a player. You know what I mean? I, mean, I got a surefire way to go get them rebounds. All I got to do is just go miss and rebound the ball. What are, you, what are you crying for? First free RJ, then kid, now Kmart. Being that is my fave trio in NBA history, I got to say huge W. Okay, I mean, you like who you like. I'm not a fan of kid like that. He is, he is goaded. He is a goaded passer. He's up there with the likes of Steve Mickey Ficky Nash. But you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It's called bold because that's what these cards is. Okay. I'm hopping out of these Twitter streets before I lose brain cells. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. All right. So out of these bold tools, these second bold set, we got Rondo Blackman first. First is Rondo Blackman. 19 Hall of Fames. 38 gold ones. Nothing special, you know what I'm saying? Got a little 89 three-point shot. Y'all can go through the badges if you want to. I mean, if you need a pink diamond right now, he's just a lock-in. I mean, we just, he's just something we got to get through to get to what we need, and we want that Bill Russell. And to get Rondo Blackman, you're going to have to make 50 layups with Maverick players over multiple games. That's for pink diamond Rondo Blackman. Eh, it don't seem that hard. 50 layups ain't going to be that much with Maverick players. You go get you a Maverick, get 50 layups. It don't have to be online. So, eh, it is what it is. My thing is 6'6", six, six Rondo Blackman, small forward shooting guard. We don't need another one of those. I mean, hey, Drew Eubanks. I haven't seen nothing like that in a minute. These six look crusty, too. Pro. I see a whole lot of pro. Basic leaner. Yeah, Rondo Blackman. They just threw him in there. All right, we got Jeff Teague, though. Pink Diamond Jeff Teague. 
point guard, shooting guard, kind of small. Let me tell you, Jeff T, kind of small. 19 Hall of Fames, 38 gold ones. I mean, if you want to check the badges out, there they are. But um, as for me, the 93-point shot's kind of low. It's looking like some mid. I mean, it's Pink Diamond. We in the, we in the black. You know what I mean? We in the black. What we need pinks for if we dark. We already dark. We don't really need pinks. But Jeff Teague is here. We got to get to, we gotta get to him to get through it. So these six look dirty, too. Ugh. Pro dribble style, base motion style. Why did y'all do him like that? Allen Iverson combos. Mm-hmm. Luca step back. I mean, who's stepping back like Luca? Maybe it could be something. We could have something there, but no. Jeff Teague is looking like a biscuit. Why did y'all do this man like this in the time of the blacks? We're in the time of the darks, and y'all do this man like this? All right, and in order to get Jeff Teague, you're going to have to get 150 assists with Hawks players over multiple games. So you got multiple games to do it, and it doesn't have to be online. Easy. It's an easy bucket, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, get to your trash can, Jeff. I don't know why they did him like that. Hopefully they remake his card down the line. Because as you see, this card only has one other iteration here. And um, I'm mad, for one. I mean, I'm not mad. I'm more mad at how they did Jamal Crawford. But uh, it is what it is. We moved on from that. All right, now we got Gerald Green. Small forward shooting guard, 6'7". Um, Gerald Green is a good, uh, that's a good guy. 19 Hoffs, 33 gold ones. Another card that we just got to get through to get through. If you want, if you want the big man, you're gonna have to get them. He does have a 93 three point shot. Eh, he looked like some more mid. I mean, you know, they just throwing filler out there. It's grindable though. It's a reason for you to go grind a game. It's a reason for you to get some, uh, some, some bump. You know, what I mean, get some little offline bump. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. LeBron James dribble style. Eh, get some good mid. We're not gonna. I mean, I'm not gonna hold you. It's a good mid. From Gulf Shores Academy High School, Gerald Green came out of, okay, okay, Gerald. And then to get to Buddy, you're going to have to make four dunks in a game with Suns players five times. So you got to go make 20 dunks, basically. You just got to get four dunks five times. Uh, Don't seem too hard to do. I mean, so far, it, this isn't looking impossible, but that's Gerald Green for you. And then we have Kenyon. Kenyon actually might get fielded. Let's see. He's actually Galaxy. So Galaxy, 27 Hall of Fames, 41 gold ones. Y'all can look through those if you need to. The three-point shot, though, with that alpha dog, the three-point shot is on an 89. And I don't know if his jumper is... Oh, yeah, his jumper might be crucified. Thanis Antetokounmpo. Thonis? We got Thonis's jumper. Michael Jordan dribble style. I, I'm not about to attempt that lower base. So that's, so, hey, look. Y'all, hey, look. I'm going to tell you right now. Don't do it, 2K. On very quick, I mean, eh, normal leaner. Zion Williamson moving crossover. Rondo's hezzy. This guy is not moving. He has Trey Young's escape. Y'all trolling. Y'all trolling, trolling. 13 dunk packages, long athlete. Eh, he only has three, two other cards, though. I mean, he's above the rim. He got that 95 driving dunk with, with an 89 three-pointer. So, you know, 95 is that sweet spot. If you ever hear me talking about the sweet spot, that means you could put that shoe on him and he'll have a 99 driving dunk for you. He has a 97 vertical. Anything over 95, anything attributed over 95, you can put a shoe boost on. And pair that with a coach boost. Because if, if you didn't know, if you're new here, coaches give you boost. Depending on which coach you put in the game. And if you're new here also, like the video, subscribe. Because this is what we do. This is how we get into it. And um, let's see what it takes to get, buddy. So in order to get Kenyon, we got to score 21 points in a game with Nets players 15 Mickey Ficky times. That's crazy. It's not going to be hard to do, though. I mean, these are not hard to do. None of these are hard to do, bro. I'm going to tell you right now. It's going to be easy to get out there and get all three of these that I just showed you. But if we move on to Steve Francis, the little bitty six three-point guard, shooting guard, um, 27 Hall of Fames, 33 gold ones. 
I'm not mad at that. A 93 three point shot, acceleration speed, vertical was upper. So he's, he's at an upper 90s for athleticism. Steve is a dunker, 98 driving. 98 driving layup, okay. 98 speed with ball, 99 ball handle. Oh, this, but this guy might be Siggy. You can go through these uh these badges real quick if you need to. But let's see what Sigs they gave him. He got Steve Francis on quick, Kyrie dribble style. Steve Francis size up. The moving behind the back is pro. Combo moves is pro. Breakdown moves is Tim. James Harden's moving crossover. Moving Hezzy is basic. Uh, they did him kind of wrong. Normal leaner. He does have John Wall's layup package and 15 dunk packages. They did him kind of wrong, though, when it comes to these Sigs. Elite motion style. Uh, the best thing about this dribble package would be I don't see anything about this dribble package that's working for me. The Francis size up, maybe the Kyrie dribble style. I'm not really, uh, I'm not a fan of any of these SIGs though. I'm really not. Tatum step back, I'm not sure what that works like, but we're going to get this card and we're going to put him in the lab. I'm going to jump out there and see what he's actually dribbling like. I'm going to tell you one thing though. You're not going to see him on my team, not with those SIGs. Not at all. No, sir, Bob. Let's see what it takes to get, bro. Win 10 games using three Amethyst or higher Rocket players. Do you have three Amethyst Rocket players? It's going to be, that's going to be what determines how fast you're going to do that. And if you have the MT, VC, or whatever to go get three Amethyst or higher Rocket players, it shouldn't be hard to get, though. You should be able to, if you play the game, you should be able to get your hands on them. Not going to hold you. Um, moving right along, because that was some, we got Bill, Mickey, Ficky, Russell in the house, the big dog. This is the one that we trying to get to. You know what I mean? Brody got 40 halves, 23 gold ones. Y'all can scroll through them. He has an 83 point shot. He's holding every defensive badge in the game. Everything else is upgradable. Everything else is actually upgradable. You can badge him out. You can actually, if you have the Hall of Fame badges to badge bro out, I wouldn't, I actually wouldn't be against that. Center power forward, he's a little bit undersized at 6'10". So, I mean, but an 83-point shot with upper 90s in just about every category. Defensively, upper 90s. Inside scoring, upper 90s. The driving dunk is right there on the cresp of the sweet spot you know what i mean that 95 driving dunk but upper 90s for everything else you know what i mean the only thing he's not gonna do is really ball handle but he can probably get to the cup with an 86 ball handle and a 97 speed with ball so you can make him 99 speed with ball you can put a shoe on that ball handle and pair that with a coach boost and i mean he has 99 rebounding if you know anything about bill mickey ficky russell he was that guy I mean, if you can find some highlight tape, there's there's tape out there and he's yellow taping everything in the paint. Anything that walked down there into the paint got taped off. I'm telling you, Montrez Harold and Mason Plumley on very quick. I don't know what that shoot like, but we're going to try it. He's going to make the lineup with that, with that, with these attributes. He's making the lineup. I'm going to pair a shoe on bro and bring a video to show you just how to dress him out. We're going to put the chucks on him. You know we got to put the white chucks on, bro. And it's just, I mean, this is going to be what a time to be alive situations. You know what I'm saying? Bill Russell is one of those ones. And this is like the premier time to really rock with Buddy because we're not in end game yet. I mean, end game, end game is going to be crazy. They're going to have all the badges. But for Buddy to have Devin Booker dribble style, elite motion style, He's going to be able to get downhill. Giannis is crossover. He's going to be able to get downhill. I mean, he has, I see some launches here. John Wall step back. You can launch out. I know how to launch out of most of these. You know what I'm saying? Kobe's escape. I'm not sure if I can launch out of that, but I'll figure it out. And he should be able to get downhill and get to the bucket if you need him to. Um, I, I'm just, what a time, bro. What a time to be alive. We got Bill Russell out here, Dark Matter in April. I'm not mad at it. Let's really look at what it takes to get these, though, and dissect mm -hmm. what it takes to get these cards. Um, make four dunks in a game with Suns players five times. Easy peasy. 
Get 150 assists with Hawks players over multiple games. Done. Make 50 layups with Maverick players over multiple games. That's easy too. Win 10 games using three amethysts or higher rocket players, excluding challenges. Okay, that's easy too. It's offline. That's easy. Score 21 points in a game with Nets players 15 times. I can do that in domination. You should be able to do that in domination. Easy. Get 60 rebounds with Celtic players over multiple multiplayer games. That's going to be easy too, honestly. To be honest, if you have, if you got this guy right here, if you hit the level reward to get buddy, look, it's going to be easy. He's a beast. Robert Parrish is that guy. When it comes to boards, he's that guy. Especially if you put a shoe on him, you put a, uh, I mean, I put Chuck Taylors on him, I believe. I'm not sure. I might have put, I might not have even put a shoe on him, but he has a 97 offense and defense rebounding. He has a 92 vertical. He's going to get up there and he's going to crush all the boards for you. You know what I mean? Rebound chaser is on purple. He's going to get there to them boards for you. You got 60 boards easy. You can just throw bricks up off a of pick and roll. You can call him off a of pick and roll, throw bricks up easy. He's going to board him. Just make sure he gets in position. Make sure he's under. And he, I mean, you got that. Okay. And then next you got to get 20 double doubles over multiple games. That's nothing. You can do that. In domination at the same time while you get these nets 21 points 15 times so 20 double doubles over multiple games and then win 11 games using 10 celtic players okay it's gonna take us some time but this can be done in a day to be honest if you got the time to do it in a day this is gonna be easy this this looks like nothing this looks like it's gonna be easy peasy so are you bold and beautiful mofos running around trying to get right? Let's go in this player market. Let's see what. Oh, I already got D'Lo. I can't tell you what he costs because I already got him. OK, but let's get to these challenges, though. We got spotlights. I know we got some spotlights. I'm about to run through them right now as we speak. I always do them first. But yeah, you could. I do them first because you get a bold pack. First up, foremost, you get a bold pack. You might be able to just pull a bro out of the pack any way it go. And who doesn't like, you know, pulling packs? You know what I'm saying? You get a, a bold base pack for this first game. Mm -hmm. Then you get a, uh, a shoe boost pack for this second game. You know what I mean? Make sure you're doing your spotlight challenges because look at these spotlight challenges, bro. You get packs for these. You get free packs. And then if you do this one, which I'm about to finish right now, I forgot I, I, forgot I had Shea Gildress. So I'm about to go dig in and get to Shea Gildress's, uh which I'm going to call them right now. Total 44 points, seven assists and two steals and one block with Shea Gildress Alexander in 12 minutes. Okay, that's going to be easy. 44.7 assists, two steals and one block. The hardest part might be that one block, but I've gotten blocks with bro. I've went up and gotten blocks. It's nothing. Um, What can I, what can I say? But I'm, I'm out here. You know what I mean? Look at the look on Shea Gildress's face. If When you get to this card, bro, just look. When you get to Shea Gildress, and I, I mean, I'm not going to front. If you don't have the paid version, it's not, it shouldn't be that terrible. The one thing I can say is he's a beast. The paid version is a beast. Mm -hmm. Really, really though. He really gets to it. This card, the SIGs mm -hmm. are... The launches are crazy. I mean, the hang dribble is crazy. I'm shooting out of everything with this card. You know what I mean? He just does it. He just does it that like that. Especially off a of pick and roll, he's he's nasty. So we thug into the end. But um, I got some grinding to get to. Y'all go ahead, like the video, subscribe. Be here when I'm here because I'm going to be back. And you be back when I be back. Make sure you put that bell notification on so that you back when I'm back and you know when I come back. But, um, oh, wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. I almost sold the bag. All right. So, you know, in this pack market, we got Maestro Hakeem. If you want that Hakeem, 75K VC Galaxy Opal Hakeem out here from Maestro's. We got the bowls out here. I don't know if y'all pulling those, but I don't pull, I don't pull, I don't pull any 
agenda packs. I'm not that guy. I'm just not him. We got the Vortex out here. I'm not pulling Vortex because no, but these, these, these playoffs, these playoffs, one guaranteed pink diamond or higher. As you can see, we got Luca in here. We got Giannis in here. We got Chris Stops, Jimmy, Anthony. We got Steph in that joint. Giannis is in there. Carl, Carl's in there. Brandon and Julius Chet's in there. Um, Nikolai Joker's in there. Okay. Bradley Bill, DeMontis, Clay Thompson is in there. Miles Turner, LeBron James. Tyrese Halliburton is in that joint. But it's it's a whole lot of pink in there, too. That's, you know what I mean? I'm not really trying to put no stink in that pink. Put no pink with the stink, so... I don't know if y'all should go all willy nilly, but the packs are 4K MT 2.85 VC. So at that at that ticket, it's like, you know, they're base packs. But. I mean, why not, you know, shake a few if we can get something shaken? Why not try to get something shaken? I need. Actually, I didn't know I had him. We're going to swap him. From the collection. Because we need, I need hollow cards. I'm going for, if you don't know about, well, I don't know if it's on PlayStation, but Xbox has a, uh, an actual achievement worth 90 gamer score. Super, super shiny. You got to get super shiny out here. Play a game where your complete 13 man lineup is all hollow cards. So I'm going out here for 13 hollows that I can throw in my lineup because zero Point zero one percent of gamers have unlocked this, and I want to be in that upper echelon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm saying. So, uh, you can't just go out here and buy hollows. If you could, it would be more people with this, with this achievement, obviously. But I mean, I feel like that's that's an achievement that I really should be able to get to. Something that I want for me, for my gamer score. <laughs> Nah, but I mean, it would be cool to be in that 1%, that 0.1%. I'd be seeing this Kyrie everywhere, buddy. I'd be seeing Kyrie. That Kyrie follows me. I almost bought that on accident. That would have been terrible. We've been grinding this uh, MT up, though. I accidentally uh, bought too much VC, but look, that was a debacle, bro. I just went through a debacle. So that VC, I don't know if 2K is going to take it back. Or if I don't know what's going to happen with that situation, but I was on the mobile app because I thought it would be easier to just jump on the mobile app, buy a little VC real quick. I hit the 700,000 one on mistake and there wasn't that much money was not in the account on the card that I was using to get the VC. So my Apple Pay declined it because the funds were not available anyway. But the VC ended up on my account. So 2K, devs, anybody that can help, anybody that's watching that can help, if you made it to the end of this video, please help me figure out what to, or tell me, because I'm not going to spend that VC. The, the charge was declined on my card, and I'd be foolish to spend that VC, and then who knows what you do with my account because y'all think I'm stealing. You know what I'm saying? Kobe. So Craig need help. He in trouble. Craig's in trouble. Come quick. I'm going to need y'all to come quick. Somebody tell me, somebody that's inside, do I need to submit a ticket with 2K support? Do I submit a ticket with Windows, with, uh, with, with Microsoft? Who do I, what do I, I don't know. Do I, I don't know. Is, is Apple Pay going to charge it back when the funds are there? I'm I'm confused at this point. I need to know. I need to know what's what. So if anybody can help me with that, I'd appreciate that. But um, we ripped a few packs. And honestly, I didn't see anything shaking. I haven't seen anything pink. I haven't seen anything gulp. I haven't seen any darks in four or five packs. That's what I was going to give it. We'll rip one more just for good measure. I had like 30 or 40 or 50k VC anyway so that's what I'm doing but oh in other news as we get another Nikolai vo -vo -vo -vo. man look I've been doing some other things too so if I slow down 
if I slow down on this, on this my team content, or if you don't see me, if you see me miss an upload or something, mm -hmm. it's because I built the Loch Ness monster. I went into the pro am in the WR Select League for a combine game, and I got demolished. This shooting guard right here got demolished. I want to delete this bastard. This joint got torn apart. And then the guys that I was in the game with were really polite about it. I mean, we lost by like 18, 16 or something. Mm -hmm. They were really polite about it because they told me what I was doing wrong. I don't have enough strength on my lock. I don't have enough steel or perimeter. Well, I got enough perimeter. He said I should use a little more steel. And then my, my strength. My strength and my steel was a little bit meh. And then, you know, I, the way I built mm -hmm. this joint, he's a shooting guard, 3 and D threat. So it's trash. It's a trash build. So what I did, what I did was I went and built. So that was Lakeem. I knew Lakeem was trash. I knew Lakeem was trash. That's the trash version of Pablo, but it's one of the first builds I made in the game. I made him like months ago. It is what it is. So I went back to the drawing board and I went to the depths of the Loch Ness. And I built the Loch Ness Monstar. So this, this, is, this build is specific. This is, this is to the T what works in Pro-Am. This is what works. It's proven. This is a process, you know what I mean? And it's proven. So that's why I went and got the VC anyway. But I kind of messed up, as I said. But this joint right here, this build right here, y'all might want to... Y'all might want to watch me work. You might want to watch me work. This is going to be Himbo Baggins. You know what I mean? This is going to be Himothy Vega. You know what I'm saying? This is the Loch Ness Monster. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no way I can't make some noise with this. If I can't lock you up with this, I need to throw the game away. I need to just stop. I need to just stop playing Pro-Am. But that's that. That's what it is. I'm going to get this build right. Ain't no telling how long it's going to take, but by next season, definitely by next season, I should be right. Appreciate y'all for kicking it, though. Y'all been hanging. This has been a crazy journey, bro. Like, if you subscribed this year, if you subscribed in 24, I appreciate you. If you subscribed at all, I appreciate you. But this journey has been crazy. If you know anything about my YouTube journey, about my content creation journey, bro, it's different. I mean, I'm, I'm Unk, and Unk is just out here just having fun. You know what I mean? One thing I want to say, though, this thing is slow. I don't know why they put this out here. What did they do this for? Why would you do this? Yeah, man, I'm out of here, though. Y'all be cool. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.